Hey guys, I'm doing this Tech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. As always, um, happy Friday. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I know it's really weird to see me make a video on Friday. I'm not I'm not working today, so I'm off today, I'm off Saturday, I'm off Sunday, I'm off till Monday basically. I have four days off this week. Um, if that makes sense, it's because I'm trying to relax a little bit. I've been I've been overworked a lot, so I need to relax and my bosses, my manager, like, okay, we got to take a break, man. You, 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 you're, you're going crazy. I'm like, all right, all right, relax, guys. I'll relax. So, um, when the boss tells you to take a break, you got to take a break. You know, I'm not going to argue with him. <laughs> so, um, I haven't made a video in a while, and I actually miss you guys. So, let's make this quick video. So, with that being said, let's get right to it. So, this is a, a Q&A. So, I always do my questions and answers. And basically, today is a questions and answers, a Q&A. So, um, um, people want to know, or people want, want their input on this. They want to know, Kevin, how do you fix an issue you have never seen before? So how do you solve an issue you've never seen before? What, what's the, what's your troubleshooting steps? Or what's the advice you could give me for a new guy in IT, desktop support, technical support, any type of IT? How do you resolve the issue? How do you solve the issue? How do you figure out how to solve the issue? If that makes sense. So. What's my common analytical thinking? What do I do if I can't fix an issue I've never seen in my life before? So, before we get into that, let me have a sip of my coffee. <laughs> so, um, first thing I will do is, I tell them when was the last time they shut down and restarted. I can hear when I says my shirt. Did you reboot yet? Have you shut down, turned on, and turned it off? I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. So, basically, oh, but you could try that. So, that's like the first thing I would do. I would restart the computer. Um, if they have time, I will restart the computer to see if that fixes you. Sometimes a reboot will fix their, their issue because they might have some pending updates that they haven't updated the computer or they haven't restarted the computer in like 20 days, 30 days, 40 days, 60 days, 120 days like I had with somebody a long time ago. Just stuff like that, you know, that sometimes a reboot will fix the issue. Like, it's, uh, it's actually, it sounds silly, but... A reboot will fix an issue on an iPhone, on an iPad, on an Android device, on a tablet, on a computer. It just, it just, it just needs a reboot because it hasn't turned, it hasn't been restarted in a while. So that usually fixes the issue. So that would be like the last thing I would do. Um, I would do a couple of different things first. The first thing I would do is I would like to know. Um, uh, I would like to know if it's affecting everybody. So an example of that would be if there if there's a printer and everyone else could print but they can't print. So is it affecting one person or is it affecting multiple people? So an example of that would be printer. So like if someone if someone has a printer that they that they use all the time, and there's like 20 people in the office that are using that same printer, and everyone else could print from it, if that makes sense, then that means that it's an issue isolated to that one person. So that means they're having that issue. That means it's just one person having that issue. That means there's something going on with their computer. Um, obviously, if it works for everyone else, then it's an issue with that person. It's being isolated to that one person. So then you would obviously remove or you add the printer, send a print test page or something like that. So that that's that's the that's that's the common analytical thinking step number one. I want to know if it's affecting everyone or if it's affecting just one person that's the first thing i would check so you now now you know oh it's affecting everyone all right cool all right all right, all right awesome it's affecting everyone all right that gives me a little bit more research so um analytical thinking number two i would like to know when was the last time this worked so did it didn't work before it did work before so when was the last time it worked a couple of days ago so maybe we did a few updates and maybe we installed a program recently that's that's conflicting with the issue or conflicting with that other program if that makes sense so sometimes you have these programs you install and it conflicts with another program and it causes this program to get a bunch of error messages if that makes sense so you would like to know when was the last time it worked that's it that's analytical thinking number two analytical thinking number three would be um Okay, okay, this is not working. Let me uh, let me do some research and I'll get back to you. The analytical thing number three is checking Google.com, see if anyone has ever seen this issue. Uh, if not, check your t ticketing system. You have ServiceNow, Remedy, Jira, any type of ticketing system you have, any type of place you take notes on on tickets or things that get closed out, check their 
check there to see if, if anyone has ever seen this issue before. Um, if they have, then you can just go and check the notes and see how someone fixed it, and then just go back to them and then fix the problem. That's that's uh, that's the, that's so analytical thing number three is a bunch of different things, and then also the other thing you could do is talk to your colleagues, see if anyone has ever seen this issue. Um, they haven't, and the, the last thing you want to do is talk, talk to your supervisor, your manager. Maybe they've seen the issue before because they've been working there for a while. Maybe they know what that issue is. Um, talk to senior level guys that are tier 2, tier 3, or a level higher than you, and see if they've seen that issue. Maybe they've seen that issue, and you're, maybe you're wasting a bunch of time, and you're wasting a few hours on an issue that someone has seen before. Simply by just reaching out for help and asking someone else, they might know how to fix that issue and they might know how to resolve that issue if that makes sense and basically you waste less time on fixing that issue for someone that's been waiting for a really long time and then you, and, and you know, oh I know, what, I, I know how to, Kevin I know how to fix it, you do this, that, that, that and that will fix the issue, go ahead and give it a go stuff like that, like that would be, that would be my analytical thing number three so it's like in something that's little, you know, little different things like Google, talking to somebody um, colleague, friend, manager Tier 1, Tier 3, Tier 4 support, higher levels of support, see if they've seen that issue. That will be analytical thinking number 3. Analytical thinking number 4 for me would be would be um, if I could replicate the issue. So when do you have this error message or when does that pop up? When does this pop message pop up? So, oh it pops up when I do this on Excel. Or it pops up when I do this on Adobe. Or it pops up when I do this in a Word document. Or it pops up when I try to print. So if I could replicate the issue on my end, and it happens on my end, and I know how to replicate it. And to, basically, by, by that means, I could replicate the issue and have it have it the same issue that he or her is having on my computer. Then I should know how to reverse engineer it. So I should be able to reverse engineer it and fix the issue because I'm the one that created it on my computer. So I could reverse it and figure out how to reverse it for him or her as well, and then resolve the issue that way. If that makes sense. So those those are the common things I would do. Um, if it's an issue you've never seen in your life before and no one could fix it and there's no answer on Google.com, there's no resolution at all everywhere you go online and check and nobody has ever seen that issue before, um, like I said, just restart the computer, see if that fixes it. And if it's something that no one has seen before and it's something on Excel or something on Word or something on Outlook, um, you might want to check the software in spe specifically to that application maybe there's an add-in causing it to do that maybe so like if it happens on a certain application maybe you might want to repair that application maybe you want to reinstall it or maybe there's an, like if it's word maybe you want to remove the add-in maybe you want to remove the add-in on excel if it's outlook maybe you want to repair on outlook maybe you want to you want to reinstall outlook or maybe you want to recreate the ost profile little things like that like if you know it's an issue isolate to a certain app then you might want to run a repair you might want to run a reinstall um, you may want to change some settings, check the settings on it, and see if that's causing the issue. Or, or and also you like to know when it when it when it was when it was working before versus when it's not working. So like if it was working before, then you might want to check. You might want to do a compare and contrast. So basically, by 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 that I mean is like if it's an SQL database server or some sort of of application, um, that it doesn't do it on your computer, but it does it on their computer. Then I would I would I would do it this way. I would check my settings on my application and see if I have the same settings and the same setup as that person, if that makes sense. And then my settings are different than that person. I would compare and contrast my settings with that person. And if it's the same thing, then obviously something else is going on with their computer. Maybe they have a corrupted computer, or maybe something's wrong with the computer. But if it's different, then I should be able to just copy my settings and then do it on their settings if that makes sense and then remove that error message or remove that issue that they're having if that makes sense so that's that's the way I look at it that's how that's my like that's my analytical thing that's how we resolve the issue I'll do all these things on it and see that fixes the issue and that that's basically it as I'm talking the horn outside anyway um, with that being said I hope that hope I hope that answers your question um, this is a Q&A as always from Kevin. If you if you guys need any if you guys have any questions or concerns or you need me to you need me to answer any type of IT support question, feel free to message me. Feel free to send me a comment in my community chat box, which is there for everyone. Um, you could just email me whatever you like, and I'll, I'll answer your question. I'll make a video on it and I'll talk about it. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it, and I hope I answer your question. All right. 
Happy Friday, and I hope you have a good weekend. Take care. Bye.